morning my lovelies welcome back to my channel and welcome to a cozy home vlog i'm really excited to film today i want to bring you guys all of the spring vibes even though that is currently the weather but i feel like personally for me one way to cope with feeling a bit just you know a bit crap is to look forward to the next season and spring is one of my favorites my birthday is actually in spring i think it's the first day actually so i have some spring things to show you guys today and i'm really looking forward to it some might say it's early but i say why not if it makes you feel nice if it makes you get excited and distracts you from the horrible weather at the moment why not so i have some spring things that i want to show you guys today um some of them are from h&m some of them are from glow mode although i did get a text last night saying your h&m parcel is delayed <laughs> and i bought it two days ago and i paid next day delivery so <laughs> let's hope it comes today i mean i have some other stuff to show you guys from h&m but like that was the that was like my favourite order. Do you know what I mean? So I'm hoping it comes today. I've also got a George Asda delivery coming today because I want to change some things in the home downstairs in the front room. So I thought we could do that together. And I also want to do some healthy cooking. So I think it was in my last video, me and my mum went to Donatello's and I had minestrone soup for starters. And it was honestly amazing it's like completely inspired me to create my own so i thought i could when me and Brady went food shopping on sunday i bought all of the ingredients for it so we can make that today it is so simple and easy and i feel like minestrone soup is something that you can have in every season and it's just so good for you so i thought we could do that today i think i'm gonna fry the veg and then maybe slow cook it i feel like that'd be really nice so this morning me and bradley already went to the gym we had a pt of 5.50 this morning. We have a PT at 5.50 every Tuesday. So yeah, we had that this morning. Feeling really good. Came home. I showered, washed my hair. I feel like I'm having a bad hair day, so just excuse that. And the washing machine's on in the background. So I'm hoping you can't hear it, but you probably can. Yeah, we had a PT and then I came home. I actually made Bradley baked oats and he really liked them. And then me and Bradley went to the doctors. He basically pulled his back. So we went there and I said to him, I'll come with you because I got a letter through the door maybe a month ago now um, to book my smear. And I thought to myself, go to the doctors, book it while you're at the doctors because it just might make you feel better and it did. So this is your reminder, if you've had that letter through the door, book your smear test, like call them up or go into your doctors, book it in. Because I kept thinking, why am I putting it off? Like It's literally there to help me. So I booked it. I am nervous, I'm not going to lie to you guys, but I can document it if you guys want me to. Um, it's literally booked in a couple of weeks. I think it's the 8th or 9th of Feb. I, it is in my diary. <laughs> I'm not going to forget. So yeah, I'm nervous, but I'm also going to let you guys know how I got on and stuff. So yeah, that's your reminder to book it in. I know I've already gone to the gym, but... I wanted to show you guys my new gym wear from Glow Mode. Now I'm really excited because they have really kindly partly sponsored this portion of today's video. And I am obsessed. The colour of this, this is bringing all the spring vibes. This is like a really light sage greeny grey kind of colour. It's everything I want and more in gym wear. You can't see my knickers. It's squat proof. Really flattering, buttery soft material and I'm obsessed. I actually have this in black and also the dark grey. So when I saw this new colour I was like oh my god I need it. I'm obsessed with it. So I have the leggings on and then this zip up which has holes here for your thumbs and you can see the colour so soft and like the material is amazing and then i've also got the supportive sports bra on and then of course the zip it does obviously zip up the whole way it is really really stretchy but i just wanted to show you guys all the three pieces that i've got on um, and with glow mode you can just mix and match as well which is what i really love i feel like genuinely this is the most flattering gym wear that i own and the quality is insane and i love the color honestly i want it in every single color that they do so yeah you can see the color it is so pretty if you're after new gym wear I couldn't recommend Glow Mode enough, the quality, and I'm not just saying this, I feel like loads of, you know, gym wear companies always say, it's so buttery soft. You will take this out of the packaging and you'll be like, oh my god, <laughs> I get it. Um, and it's just so supportive and it literally covers everything, it's insane. I feel like normally with leggings and stuff, like gym leggings, I have to wear a vest underneath it to like cover my bum or anything, just because I'm like, oh, I feel like if I squat or something, you're going to see my knickers. These you don't need that um and i'm so happy because i've obviously got the black one and 
the dark grey one but knowing that even in the lighter colour it's the same as well is so nice so I have a couple more things to show you I love my deliveries from Glow Mode so each of them will come in a bag like this you'll lift it up and it's really like fancy so nicely packaged and then I brought some hangers there so I can put them on the hangers and show you um so this is a white sports bra like I would wear this underneath probably more so than what I'm wearing now because I really like white with colors like this I don't know I just really like it the reason I am obsessed with this sports bra is because it's really long it is so long it is so supportive it's that beautiful buttery soft material as well it's got the little glow mode logo at the back and it's just so soft honestly it's so soft so my size in glow mode is a size medium just for reference the sports bras i tend to go a medium or a large depending i it's so annoying because i need the support so i need the tightness but then i need the room <laughs> inside so i tend to go either medium or large but this one is a size large and it is just so perfect next item is this gorgeous black it's kind of like a hoodie, like a quarter zip. Again, I can't even explain to you guys this material. It's just so buttery soft. Like, genuinely, this is some of the best quality gym wear I have ever felt. You can tell that they've put in so much effort. Like, if I was to ever come out with gym wear, this is how I'd want it to feel and no other way because this is exactly what you want. You want it to be comfortable, you want it to be supportive, you want it to just fit really nicely, like in all the right places and that's literally what they do. And um, this is obviously a baggy jumper. I'm not gonna lie, I already have this and I wanted another one because when it's in the wash, I literally look for it all the time. This is the kind of jumper that I wear. Do you know when you have days at the gym where you just, you don't wanna wear tight things? You're like, no, not today. I'm on my period, I can't, I just, I don't want that. The bloating, no thank you. That is when this comes in handy. Um, and then I'd normally just chuck it over the top. It's so comfortable, it's really breathable. It's a really nice like length and size as well. Um, and I also wear this on our dog walks all the time. And it's just so comfy. So I normally wear this and then like a gilet over the top. And it is literally perfect. It's also got a hood as well. So yeah, I actually have this already. I have this in the black colour and also they have it in tan and also white. I want to get the white one. Next up... This is one of their new pieces and this is a velvet sports bra. So obviously parts of it are velvet as you can see. Not the actual bra but like pits around it which is so gorgeous. So the whole bottom bit here is velvet and then also the top. And guys look at the back. I'll put my hand through. How stunning is that? It is the most beautiful back of a sports bra I've ever seen. It is gorgeous. Um, so yeah, it's so nice that they try and like, do different like shapes and sizes, different materials. And I always love their new releases. I think it's so cool. They also have some really nice like cargo like trousers and stuff if you guys are into that. Um, but yeah, the quality of this is so lovely and really thick and supportive as well. I have this perfect oversized top. It's long sleeve, it crosses really nicely at the back so you can see like your sports bra and stuff. Really nice colour, really floaty and breathable and I really like the shape of it as well. Um, I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of that. And I really like it with these leggings. I'll try it on in a second and show you guys. Or you would have just seen a split screen of me wearing it. But yeah, I'm so obsessed with this. And I feel like this is a really, really lovely piece to go with like any leggings and stuff as well. Like, I'd obviously wear this with like my black glow mode ones and my dark grey ones and stuff. So it's nice that I've got this colour as well for it to go with. And I'm so excited to get more colours. These sets, <sighs> once you have a set like this, you'll be like... Okay, I get it. Like, it just zips up really nicely. The colours of them I love. I love the thumb holes. Sometimes I wear, like, gym clothes and the thumb holes actually hurt my thumbs. Not necessarily because it's too, like, tight. It's just the material of it. But they've really thought about everything with this. So, yeah, it's really nice, like, discreet thumb holes. And then if you didn't want the thumb holes, there's not a massive hole in the sleeve bit which i love because normally it's really noticeable and um, so i really like that so yeah all of this gym wear is amazing it's so affordable and you can also use my code amy rose and you'll get 15 percent off everything as well but i'll pop my code and the links to all of these items in the description box down below in case you guys wanted to pick them up if you're on your health and fitness journey like me get some new gym wear it will help motivate you like i'm so excited to wear this to the gym tomorrow i was gonna wear it this morning to the gym but i thought to myself it's probably best <laughs> to show it completely fresh out the packet instead of me wearing it 
this morning and I obviously wanted to shower and stuff so yeah I'm really excited to wear this tomorrow and you guys know I love and adore glow mode so much and love all of their amazing pieces that they have and the quality of the items are just oh my god <laughs> I feel like you can't beat it so I'm going to pop a link to all the items in the description box down below and a massive thank you to glow mode for partly sponsoring this portion of today's video so I'm going to quickly try these bits on for the little split screen section um, and then we can go downstairs and start making the minestrone store These are what I have in the fridge and what we got on Sunday. So I'm gonna do mine just vegetable because I feel like I can freeze it better. I feel like it might last longer. And then if I want to, like you can always add meat. So you can add like bacon or chicken or anything like that. But this is literally what I'm gonna do for now. So I'm gonna cook the onions and then also the celery. So I always cook onions first. And then, do you know what? I'm gonna kind of just all bung it into a pan, fry it. And then I've displayed my slow cooker here. Um, obviously I know that I need to put in here but I was just washing this um, and I bought these liners I think these I got from Tesco's There's literally five bags in here and I thought how much easier is that to clean up afterwards <laughs> so I was just kind of measuring it obviously I know I need to put that in first and then I'll put that in but you know what I mean I feel like that's quite good so I'm gonna after I fried it and stuff I'm then just gonna slow cook it keep it on and then it'll be really lovely to eat so I literally cannot wait so yeah let's start I'm kind of just gonna chop everything put it all in the pan fry it you you guys will see what I do like as I go and um, but yeah let's go As you would have just seen, I have just transferred um, majority of the soup into here in the slow cooker um, because I have saved myself this to have today. Um, so I'm just going to cook this obviously a bit faster in here. Honestly, you guys, it smells incredible. I'm so excited for this. I feel like in the camera it looks like so much, but it really isn't. I think it's just like a bowl full. Um, so yeah, I put this on high and I'm just going to leave it in here to do its thing. I sent Bradley a picture and he was like, oh my God, he's so excited. So it's really good. And it smells amazing in here and it's just so healthy. Also, if you saw my recent TK Maxx, shop with me and haul you would have seen i picked up this bin and it's basically for cooking oh my god it's insane i don't know how we didn't have one of these before bradley said that the other day he was like this is literally the best thing that we ever bought for the kitchen um and it's amazing we do need to buy the biodegradable liners because every time we use it and we empty it out we then have to wash the bin which is fine but i think next time i go to tesco's or maybe i'll look on amazon i'll see if there's any biodegradable liners because that is definitely what we need so it's been a few hours since i have filmed um so i had the soup for my lunch that was in the pan Honestly, you guys, this is the nicest minestrone soup I've ever had. It was just extra tasty. I think putting chicken and vegetable stock in there was key because it's kind of like the flavour that you needed. It was so good. Um, and I've also just put these like pyjama-y kind of lounge wear set on because I wanted to save my Glomo gym wear to wear first thing tomorrow morning. Helps me get up in the morning. <laughs> I always think like every time I really struggle, I'm like, just put your new gym clothes on. You'll feel fine after. And I get really excited. Um, I've also just made myself um, an amino and energy from Women's Best. If you struggle with your energy and I think especially if you're a mum I have three sisters and two of them are mums and I always say to them like they need this because this will just help with your energy especially in the afternoon do you know when it gets to about like two three o'clock I don't know if anyone else has this 
and then you could feel your energy like dipping and I also feel like that's kind of when the sun sets so you're kind of a bit like mm, I just want to get cozy and you just don't feel as motivated I mean I'm speaking for myself then I definitely recommend trying the women's best amino and energy I mean I think other brands do it but I just really like their one my favorite flavor is the peach iced tea and also the strawberry lemonade that's so good but this one is lemon. It's still nice, but this was the only one that was in stock. It's literally like a refreshing drink to have. And I put ice with it as well. Anyway, I've just got this parcel through my door. Not through my door. It did not fit through my letterbox. But it was outside my door. It's so weird though, because I didn't realise this got delivered. And I got a text saying, your George Asda parcel has been delivered. And I thought, this is so weird, I have a ring doorbell. I did get a notification, but my phone was on silent and I just didn't see it, um, so that's funny. Anyway, these are just a couple of things that I got and obviously I wanted to show you guys. My H&M parcel isn't gonna be delivered until later, it says. I mean, it's better than it not coming today, but with the lighting and everything, as you can see, the sun is setting. I might have to film it first thing tomorrow. So, we will see. So, I spoke to you guys about it, I think it was in my last video, or maybe the video before. But we basically have one bedding set, and that's it. And it's just not practical. <laughs> it's our favourite, because the other one had like a rip in it, so we, it was just annoying. So we were like, okay, we got rid of that one because no one's going to use it, obviously. And we were like, let's just wash it on a Sunday. We got in a good routine, but it, it, it got annoying. Do you know when you're like, okay... We we're changing bed sheets really late in the oh. evening. Oh, hello, Luna. Did you want to come in the video? Come here, then. Come here. <laughs> Did you hear that? Are you going to say hello to everybody? Um, yes, we just thought instead on a Sunday, let's just change them first thing. So I got this set. It was really affordable. This is the picture of what it looks like. So it's kind of like frilly on the edges, and I really like that. I think it's really cute. I mean, yeah. <laughs> pardon you <laughs> she honestly burps so loud you are the loudest burper honestly she's literally Bradley's a dog yeah these look like they're creased but I think with my crease fleece it's fine it's not as soft as the one that I have already the one that I have is from Dusk but I just thought I'd get this one because I was doing an order anyway on George Asda and it looked really cute so I'm gonna literally put that in the wash in a second okay the more you open that I feel like the nicer it is um and then we have six pillows so we, we have three pillows each so I got Oxford pillow. Sorry, that was someone at the door. That could have been my H&M parcel. So yeah, sorry, I've had to move the camera a bit and I think there's some works going on next door. <laughs> so I hope you can't hear that. Um, but anyway, like I said, I have six, we have six pillows in our bed, so we have like three each. So I have to buy extra pillow cases. So I bought these ones and they're just lined around the edges, which I thought were nice. So I've got those. And then... The other thing for the bed, there's another one there, is of course a fitted sheet. Oh my god, this is so soft. I'm kind of wishing I got the whole bedding in this range, but is there a range like this? 300 thread count. Oh my god, this is so soft and this is a fitted sheet. Guys, look at this little packaging. It's Velcro. Go on, Asda. <laughs> I can't believe that. I've never known anything like that. Can you believe it, Luna? Wow. That's amazing. Um, and I was looking at the reviews, and so many people said it's a really good fitted sheet, and it's also so soft. Oh, my God, it is. <gasps> okay. I think Braddy's going to really like that. I'm going to see if they've got other bedding in this range because I'm obsessed, I'm gonna put that on there. <laughs> I'm such a, it's so funny, isn't it? Like As you get older, you care more about the quality of the item and the softness of it and how long it's gonna last and stuff, don't you? Instead of having like 10 different 
bed sheets to choose from, you'd rather have like two nice ones, <laughs> which is literally me and Bradley. Um, we had that conversation the other day that we both said afterwards. It just shows like, as soon as you're like an adult adult, that's the kind of stuff in life that you're like, oh, I love that. <laughs> I mean, they've really protected this. And then the last thing in this box is this most beautiful vase. And it's like the most gorgeous ribbed. Uh-oh, there's a crack in it. Oh, it was packaged so well. There's a crack. I mean, I wonder if I could glue that, but... I'm not sure. I don't want to put obviously real flowers in here. This is more for fake flowers, but I'm so upset it's got a crack in it. But it is so beautiful. I love like the waves of it. I think it's gorgeous. I recently bought some flowers from TK Maxx. Again, that was like two videos ago, I think. If you saw that video, you would have seen the flower bo bouquet that I got. And I wanted to get a nice ceramic vase for it. And I thought that's perfect, but yeah, the crack in it. <laughs> I'm not sure how long that's gonna last. But anyway, I'm gonna put these in the wash now so I can wash them and then see what parcel I've got in my front door. Never did I give in just cause the thought of being vulnerable made me feel less than I am. Good morning everyone so it is now the next day um i thought i could show you guys my h&m parcel i have another one upstairs but i think i'm going to show you guys that in a haul coming up so i'm going to wait for that but this is the parcel that i got a few days ago and i'm so excited to show you i'm really craving a smoothie bowl so i thought we can make a smoothie bowl together um i'm not going to lie to you if i seem like my energy has shifted a little bit and i'm getting it back now which is good but this morning i just had one of those mornings where <laughs> everything goes wrong. And it all stemmed from us not going to the gym. And it's so annoying that, I mean, this doesn't happen every time, like if we miss our alarm or whatever, but because we missed our alarm and we didn't go to the gym, I've also come on my period today. So it's like everything that would affect me on another day has affected me 10 times more today if that makes any sense. And like things just kept going wrong. I've snapped two of my nails, they went backwards. So this one's like cracked and I have Biab on my nails. So these are my real nails. And this one's cracked like there. I'm terrified. <laughs> so is this one. It's like the most painful thing ever. So it's like gone past my nail. So that's great because they've grown up so much. Luckily I'm getting them done tomorrow, but I, it's just, I'm in agony. As you can see in the background, <laughs> there are no covers on the sofas because do you know what I done this morning? Let me, sh do you know what? I took a picture of it because I thought, I feel like I need to show you guys. So not only did this happen this morning, okay? You know, just what we want on our new sofa. I spilt my whole coffee. I didn't even have a sip. And I got it on my white company pajamas. <laughs> I was just so upset. And then obviously loads of other things happened as well. Loads of little things. I really hurt my knee. I ran out of like, um, what's it called? Like detergent, all that kind of stuff. It, like another day, this would have affected me so differently, but today, it's affected me so much because it's the day I've literally come on my period and it's, I don't know why. I want you guys to know, the reason I'm telling you this is if you're having a bad day, don't worry, it gets better. It feels like it's the most horrible thing and you're just kind of waiting for the day to be over. Like I sat on the sofa at six o'clock this morning thinking to myself, I just want it to be tomorrow. <laughs> I want it to be tomorrow. We shouldn't wish days away, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm really excited for tomorrow. <laughs> Just to say goodbye to this day, do you know what I mean? Like, close that chapter, but onwards and upwards. I've had my cry, I've cried off my eyelashes, which is great, you know, we love that. Um, and I'm gonna unbox this with you and then we can make a smoothie bowl. I always make smoothies and I never really make smoothie bowls and I don't know why, because I love stuff like that. 
so yeah let's let's stay positive let's shift our mood for the day it's happened we can even close that chapter now it's all good i put the um covers in the wash i literally spent like an hour this morning washing all the covers and scrubbing the sofa i'm watching modern family as always it literally like calms me um and it's so weird because i'm not an angry person but the anger that i felt this morning i don't know what happened i have no idea actually my period happened that's what happened it's coming hard this week but yeah the covers are washed they're upstairs on the banister drying so it's fine i also got coffee in the blankets they're in the wash now and it's fine what was i looking for my tripod and some scissors okay so oh my god i am obsessed with these bits already oh my god i love this so i wanted to buy like transitional clothing and i actually said to my mum when we were in h m the other day i said to her i really want a jumper that's like quite holy but you can layer underneath with like vests and stuff like in the colder months like obviously this month and the next month and then in springtime it's like perfect to wear um and i think this jumper is literally that i went on the website and i saw a new in and i thought oh my god this is so lovely so i picked up this jumper that's the first thing and um, i got it in a size large because i thought things like that are really good oversized and i'm really happy with that because i thought it would actually be a bit longer um, the next thing I got were these trousers. So I picked these up in a medium. The one thing that I found a bit weird is the tie bits on the side. So I'm not sure how I feel about that until obviously I try it on. Um, but yeah, this is the band. So it is a drawstring. It's really simple. I think it's got pockets. Oh, I think you need to... Oh, they are. You need to just do that. You need to do that thread thing um, and cut them. But they're just really lovely. And I thought they're a really lovely spring piece oh and they're lined inside which is really good um and i really like that color so i thought this with like a nice vest is perfect the next thing i got so the next thing is this most beautiful peplum top this i got in a size medium this again is a lovely transitional kind of piece yeah this is the most gorgeous like peplum top it's ribbed it's got that really nice like rubber bit here so it doesn't like slip and fall down it's super stretchy and i really like the peplum style as well because for me i'm quite subconscious on the tummy area so i feel like things like this um are really perfect and flattering and you can lower it up like you can put a blazer with this or you can wear it in the summer with like a really nice pair of shorts or something um it's just gorgeous so yeah that's the next piece i picked up sorry someone was at the door i have um some exciting pastas to open with you but i really liked these colors of vest tops because i thought even like underneath here they'll all go but i wear vests a lot like even under my like gym clothes i wear them i wear them a lot to bed um so i really liked the colors of the neutrals in here as you can see so i really liked them they're a staple for me like all year round next item in here this is something that i'm going to use in a second and I'm obsessed with it, you guys. Look how beautiful this bowl is. So we've actually got this in like the big like pasta dish and Bradley loves it, it's his favorite. And when I saw this, I thought this is literally perfect for smoothie bowls, like a dedicated bowl to smoothie bowls. Cause I feel like when you have like a nice cup or a bowl, it tastes nicer when you're eating out of it. Is anyone else the same? So yeah, I picked this up. I'm really obsessed with it and I really like the style of it. I really want to get the whole set of all of these. And then the last few things, it's some colour. So this is a blazer. This I got in a size medium. Um, and I think I got this a few weeks back and I really wanted to show you guys because I thought it's so nice to add a little bit of colour like slowly into your wardrobe. I think H&M is the perfect place for items like this because the colours of them aren't too like much do you know what i mean so i'll wear this probably styled like this i'll probably roll the sleeves up a couple of times even with this peplum top underneath or the trousers and a vest top i think will look really lovely and then to go with that i also ordered these sunglasses i'm not gonna lie though i'm not the biggest fan of the quality 
these kind of feel like oh look look how i opened it can you see it's not even yeah i'm not a fan of these i think i'm going to send these back um basically i thought these were going to be more like cat eye shaped but they're not they kind of remind me of <laughs> sunglasses like the 3d ones you get in the cinema and they feel like it as well they feel really cheap and they weren't like they were obviously affordable but i think they were like 17 pounds or something so anyway i'm gonna send these back because they're not what i expected but that's fine i mean at least i will get my money back on that not what i wanted but the other stuff i'm so happy with literally 10 out of 10 and i cannot wait to wear it all till you enter Okay, so if you guys have watched my videos, you will know that I make my smoothies really simply. I literally just pop berry smoothie mix and then a protein yogurt and that's it. And then sometimes I add ice if I want it thicker. So of course I'm gonna add loads of ice as well today because I think the thicker the smoothie bowl, the better. Um, and then for toppings, I should have probably put these in sections. For toppings, I have this which is kind of like granola crisp plaster kind of things i'm only going to sprinkle a little bit on um i've got some fruits some strawberries blueberries and then also some of these white chocolate chips i might pop on oh i've just remembered i have some desiccated coconut as well which is so nice on top of smoothies so yeah i'm going to literally mix the smoothie berry protein yogurt and then add some ice all together and then that would have created my smoothie bowl So this is the final result of the smoothie bowl. I love doing them because they're so simple and easy to actually make the smoothie mix. And then it's the fun parts like decorating. Um, and I also have these, which I need to pour on, but I wanted to take a picture. These are like the little chocolate chips and the rest of the granola because I weighed it all to see how much, you know, fits into my macros and stuff. But I'm so happy with it. I'm just gonna pour these on <laughs> because I feel like the white chocolate really helps with it all. Um, but yum, I'm gonna eat this now on the sofa. Okay, so the smoothie bowl was so tasty and I feel like, especially when the weather starts getting warmer and stuff, it's gonna be something that I crave all the time. It was so, so delicious. I love like finding like healthy things like that that are also really fun. Um, so I just put all the items in one box here. But when I showed you guys the H&M stuff, the door went and I've really kindly got sent this humongous parcel from GHD and I can't believe how much stuff is in here. It's actually crazy and I thought I could show you guys everything because this obviously isn't an ad or anything. They've just really kindly sent it to me. They haven't asked me to show it in any way. I've used GHD for so many years now for my hair dryer and my straighteners. It's nice to be sent some like little bits and bobs as well. I thought I could share. So they have sent me two of these brushes, size four, which I think is quite big and i've seen people use these online um for like the bangs and like the ends of your hair you know when you want to get like the flicky hair i feel like this is perfect so i'm very excited about that so the next thing is this curved tong again i've seen this on their instagram um i never use a clamp for my curling wand obviously you guys know i use the foxy looks one ones like this never seem to work for me and i always find that the barrel is smaller but 
I'm gonna give it a go. <laughs> See how I get on with it. This is something I'm so excited about. So they really kindly sent me the GHD Unplugged. I used to have this in white and I lost it. Um, I think I lost it in the summer. Couldn't find it anywhere. Um, so I'm so excited that I've got a new one. So this one is portable. So you literally charge it, come to the charger, and um, you can pop it in your bag and stuff and it fits in this case. And this case is really small and compact. So you can honestly fit it in the smallest bags, take it out with you wherever you go, whether it's, you know, you're going out for the day or for the evening or even for the weekend and you don't want to take like your big straighteners. This is perfect. Um, so I opted for the black this time because I thought it's just really sleek and gorgeous um, and I'm so excited about it. So this was the item that I was like, honestly, the most excited for. This is the deluxe set. So in here, Oh my god, obviously is the insane case. <gasps> this is beautiful, oh my goodness. So in here you have the Platinum Plus Professional Smart Styler. I'm not being funny, but the color of this, wow. This is absolutely stunning. Um, and then you also get a Helios Professional Hair Dryer, which is just insane. Like, can you guys see the color? I always love to use this as well. I think it makes my hair just more like sleek and flat, so. This is just beautiful. I'm honestly in shock with this. How insane, and that case, oh my God. Like how good is that? Not only is this good for traveling, but like storage as well. Do you know sometimes you just want everything to be kept in a really nice place. This is such a lovely like box for it to go in. So I'm very excited about that. Oh, I love peeling off stickers and stuff that are on your new bag. And then the last bits in here, they really kindly as well sent some gorgeous products. Oh, we've got two heat protector sprays and then two rehabs. Oh, this looks right up my street. After a crappy morning, this has really, really made my afternoon. I can't believe it. Times like this, I just think I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. Like, I've had a bad morning. It's. I, I feel like... It's fine now, I can breathe, I'm over it, it's happened, and stuff like this, I just think, oh, why was I, why was I even worrying, and why was I focusing on, like, the negatives, like, there's so much more to life, um, and I'm so grateful for this, so, I, I love it, I can't wait to use it all. I finally displayed my new white company bits that I got in my last video. So this is the Seychelles or Seashells, however you want to pronounce it. Um, this is the range. I'll pop a link to this exact set in the description box. So you get a diffuser, a full size one, a candle, again full size, and then a full size room spray as well. This is perfect because not only does this already smell amazing, but I love the spray as well because do you know when like people come round or you've cleaned or you just want to freshen up for the weekend? I always like to spray it like on the cushions and like in the room and it makes the whole house smell amazing and it's so strong so I'm very happy with this and I love this little set. So the whole downstairs smells amazing now from the Seychelles set. Honestly it's amazing, I'll pop a link to it down below because it just makes your house smell amazing. If they have a refill, like a diffuser refill, I need to get it. Um, so my lovelies, I'm going to end this video here. I'm really sorry if it's been like quite haul heavy. Um, I've not meant it to. I actually planned to like go out with you guys. And I thought it'd be nice to like have an outing together and all that kind of stuff. How many times do I want to do my hair as well? I've done it so many times, but I just need it out my face. Um, yeah, I plan to like have like an outing with you and just to do fun stuff. But I think I'm going to do that in my next video. My period has hit me being completely honest, and I'm in pain. Do you know on the day where like, I don't know for you girls, but for me, the day that I start my period, the pain, 
the pain it's just it's so painful <laughs> and I get really like breathless and stuff and it's like there's no point me pushing myself because it's just it's just gonna hurt me even more do you know what I mean so I'm gonna take it easy I'm gonna do the stuff that I was gonna do in this video in my next video so this weekend I've actually got two uploads um, I'm uploading obviously on Saturday and Sunday because I want to get up the haul for you and um, which is my Primark one I've also got some stuff from Zara in there that I'm going to show you maybe H&M but I don't want it to be like too much going on so I'll have a little I'll have a little think and like have a look upstairs to see stuff that I've got but yeah I'm filming that and then I'm also filming the vlog for Sunday so I'm really excited about that um I'm gonna bake with you guys in that video I've got something really excited I already bought the ingredients so I'm looking forward to doing that with you all so I'm really excited for that video and to spend it all with you thank you so much for watching as always I'll pop links to everything that I showed you guys in the description box down below I love you all and I'll see you all in my next one bye